Okay, I got a 71 reading right here. And <clears throat> I got the pinpointer across it, and it's in this little clump of dirt. And right there, you can see the edge of it. Looks like another button. Yep, sure enough. Does it have the shank on it? It does not. Broken shank, just a plain flat button. Let's keep going. I just got a 55 reading right here. And right here we go. You talk about a, another small button. Can you see that? That is crazy how little that is. Yep. Just another broken chink. Little flat button. Okay, I got another 85 signal here, and the pinpointer says that it's in this small plot of dirt. And it looks like it's right there. Looks like we have another button. Looks like it. It's a little twisted up. I don't know if it's a button or not. Can't tell. A broken shank in it or not. It's a little muddy. Maybe it is. Just twisted up. Okay. We'll keep going. Okay, I've been here about two hours, two and a half hours, working, you know, back and forth. Not all of this, just certain areas. And you saw previously the three buttons that I dug, which were in this lower part of this cornfield, right in here in this area. And all three of them came within about 20 feet. I stepped up into this part of the cornfield and started noticing a lot of broken brick and some white plate uh, with the the blueprint designs on it and I'm trying to find a lot of the brick and plating and stuff look here oyster shells a lot of brick you can see the brick all through here a lot of a lot of pieces of it here and some uh blue glass more brick there's the plate glass and I just got a 66 reading on the dais 2 and right here it says it's in this little clump of dirt and I would say do we have it <laughs> drop it to find it again another small button Sure do, and that is a little one. It's a really small cuff button. And the broken shank on that one too. So that's four buttons in total so far. Let's keep going. I'm trying to record every consistent signal. And this was an odd number as a 70. And it says that it's in here. see what we've got yep there we see it right in the very edge mr. worm there or miss worm or whatever it identifies as it is right here with it and right there we have another very small cuff button Seems to be plain. No design on it. And the shank is still intact on it. Oh, I lost it. There it is. Alright, we'll keep going. I got an 85 reading just now. And 
my little friend showed up in this dirt claw so <laughs> but uh pinpointer is saying it's right here and i do believe we have another flat button sure do it's the shank intact i believe it is it's just bent over a little bit flattened out see it right there flattened out i don't think there's a design on this one either it doesn't look like it okay we'll keep going okay i've got a 66 reading right here in this clump of dirt well i thought i did <laughs> oh there it is ah and there there it is Right on the edge of the dirt. We have another. Oh, I don't think it's a button. I think that, that would have been a cuff link. I do believe it would have. It has a small flower design around it. That is part of a cuff. Uh, yeah, a part of a. Uh, It's, yeah, part of a cufflink, sorry. And it has a little bit of a floral design. I'm not really sure if that's going to show the detail. I'll clean these up and show them later. Okay, I've got a uh, an 88 reading right here in the hole. And I can already see it. Maybe you can too. It's a large disc right there. And I would say... As big as that is, that is going to be a very nice dandy button. Let's pluck it out, clean it off together. Oh yeah, sure enough, nice and thin. Oh, look at that. That is a beauty. Shank is still intact on the back of it. I love these. These are my favorite buttons to find right here. Still intact on it. Now, do we have a design? Be careful not to take off the patina on it. I don't see anything on it. Just a nice, beautiful flat button. I'll let it dry out. Something might show up later, but it looks like it does have a little something on the outside edges of it. Possibly. Maybe you can see that. Got a little de swirly design on the outside. All right, let's keep digging. Okay, this is a 93-94. And I know this could possibly be silver, copper, you know, anything. But it's very consistent, 93-94. It doesn't vary. And I'm going to live dig it in hopes that it's silver. And it's my white whale that I've been waiting on for 24 years to find my 1800 silver coin or 17 if it is I can only hope <laughs> I actually got a chill digging this hole and just a thought of hoping that it was silver or it could be uh, a large copper oh there it is it's not silver but it is a copper I was hoping, but I'll still take a copper. I love digging coppers. And it's a thick one. So I'm hoping this is something I don't have in my collection. Nope. 
pretty sure I've got one of these large scents. So I was hoping it might be a KG. Not really sure what they ring up as on the dais, but you can see right there one cent. Hopefully you can see it. And there is Lady Liberty, and I believe that says 1817. Sure does. So 1817 large scent. Okay, this signal was an 80. So we've had everything from 65 to 85. Everything in between. And I can already see it. Maybe you can too. Right at the end of my finger. And I believe we have another flat button being that it did come in at an 80 I don't think it's going to be a coin uh, it's a broken shank and has a little bit of silver uh, gilting around it there is a, a small pattern around the edge of it let me get my toothbrush and see what we've got here Yeah, got a pattern. There's the broken shank on it. And I'm not sure. It does have a silver gilt to it. Hopefully you can see that. That's pretty cool. I can't tell if there's any kind of a design on there or not. But we'll keep looking. Okay. 71, 72. Let's see if we have another button here. You, just about every target has come out on the very first shovel of dirt. Let's see if we can do it here. Nope. Missed that one. So hopefully it's a little deeper, something better. All right, we'll take the pin pointer out and see what we've got. Right there. See if we can get it out with the toothbrush. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, and there we have a bullet casing. That's only the second bad target in this field. Well, let's keep digging. Okay, I've got another 86 reading right here, and it says it's right in there. So <clears throat> let's open up the dirt and see what we've got. I'm not really sure. It's kind of thick. Maybe just a, could have just been broke off of a piece of equipment or something, I don't know. See where it broke right here. I don't think I see a design of any kind, so we'll just call that broken piece of equipment. I got another solid 80 reading right here, and let's see what we've got. There it is. Uh oh, unfortunately we got a taco on this one. The 
This one's rather bent up. Uh, there we go. I will not try to straighten that out. All right, I got the edge of it too with the shovel. Haven't done that in a long time. Another flat button. And the shank is missing from this one. Okay, let's keep digging. Stop recording. So I got up this morning, it's about 37 degrees. Sun was shining. It was beautiful this morning. And now, if you're able to see this, I can't tell if you can tell. There's snow falling right now. Welcome to New York in April, I guess. You may or may not be able to see it. Wild. Can't get over that. This was a 66 reading on the Deus 2. And I can already see it. Came out in the first uh, shovel full. Maybe you can too. It's right there. First one of these I've ever dug. And that is a jaw harp. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Can't say that I've ever dug one, but seen everybody else dig them. And that is pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's been hit by the plows, but still, it's awesome. You could see this one in the hole, and it was probably seven or eight inches deep. And we've got a pocket knife. I don't think that's a very old pocket knife, but that is a cool design. Check that out. That's pretty wild. I love that design. That's different. I don't know how old that could be, though. What's your guess? Anybody have an idea? All right, we have a 6869 right here. Let's see if we can get it the first shovel. Nope. Try again. We'll try it. Let's see if we can get it right here. Let's try the pinpointer and find it. Oh, there we have it. Oh, just another piece of junk. Maybe a broken arrow or something. But Very little trash. I'll take it, though. Okay, I got an 80 reading here. And... You may be able to see it. We have a large disc right here. This is probably another nice big dandy button. We hope. Put my glasses on where I can see this good. Let's see what we can get with a toothbrush here. Yeah, sure enough. Another big dandy button. Or maybe it's not. Oh, I know what this could have been. I will bet this was a whizzer. You show you, a lot of you guys may know what this is where they tie the string between them. Run a string through the holes, then spin it around and around, and then pull the string on the ends. It would make a a humming, whizzing type sound. I bet that's what that was with the two holes in it. That's a pretty cool find right there. Shows they were, I would assume, kids living here. One of their toys that they played with. Okay, let's keep digging. Okay, I'm going to do a. A little wrap up 
I tend to forget it sometimes, but tell me you wouldn't take this uh, trash to treasure ratio. That's all the trash, chain, pipe, a couple of pieces of metal, cow tag. Some these all got these all gave up a, like a high tone, but a few little odds and ends of scrap metal, and then we got part of a wagon, the knife, a uh, cuff link, uh, the 1817 large cent, three cuff buttons, uh, three, four, or five buttons, two dandies, and the wizard toy and the jaw heart. I'd say that was probably a, a pretty good day. And I've been out here since a little after 7 this morning. It's 12.30 now. So I've cold and I'm going to call it a day. And hope you enjoy the video. And uh, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And comment below.